Absolutely. Let's talk through a real section two algorithm question. We've got to write a program that checks when the alarm should sound. Okay, here's my first quick tip. Only use loops if the question says you've got to use loops. So many students get themselves all mixed up when it comes to putting loops into code. This one doesn't need a loop, so we're not going to use it. So let's just keep things simple. So let's start with the main condition. Then let's nest the sensor check inside this selection statement. Clear logic equals clear marks. See, no loops, no variables to initialize. Just structure your logic and keep to the key words. If, then, and end if. Section B can feel quite overwhelming to some students, but don't panic. There's always marks available for every level of programming ability. So even if you can only do the inputs and the outputs, that will get you marks. The worst thing you can do is leave the question blank. Like this video and then drop a comment after you finish the exam. Let me know how you got on. Good luck.